Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rainy Day Stardew's Valley. How's it? How's it going, Sweet Tim? Good morning, Did you Sweet. Call it the Stardew Valley. I actually prefer its name being Stardew Valley. I, I, I usually, whenever I talk to Grace about it, I say Stardew Valley. <laughs> I, I, it's like. I like it. it. All those things I do, like I don't do it on purpose anymore. That's the scary thing. Like. Uh, I and I here's the thing. Like, the, the thing that would probably be the, if I start talking about it, like, I, I say, I call all the things the wrong name. The question is then, give an example. I can't because it's so ingrained in my freaking brain that I don't know. It just happens. Yeah, you only know they're the wrong names at the time. And, like, I couldn't, yeah, exactly. I couldn't tell you, I couldn't tell you right now, but when I'm forced to talk about the thing, I won't call it the right thing. Mm. So all I have to do is hit, like, maybe every topic in the known universe in this episode and yes. we can figure out which of them to which it applies yes absolutely all right well topic number one flowers uh nope don't got any no. do we need this to make i feel like we need either this tomato or this hot pepper or something because it was in a special location so yeah I uh shouldn't need the hot pepper I don't think. Okay. Um, I can't read. Quickly check community stuff. So I will. I will uh, delegate the reading to you. Tomatoes. 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 Tomato. Where? Hot pepper. And I got all kinds of star fruit jelly, or start one star fruit jelly and a bunch of other jellies. Did we need one of those for a bundle, or can I just send them? The jellies we shouldn't need for a bundle. Okay. Scent. Uh, yeah, no, we've already got one jelly. Okay. It's the only one we're going to need. We shouldn't need tomato for anything is the thing, though. Okay. It all rests on your shoulders. I really hope I'm right in that. <laughs> I, me too, because I, I, once again broken record i cannot read <laughs> absolutely got sent you sent it all all right well okay so we we're in the situation where we don't really have much to do in this season left do we yeah not really that much uh more hardwood from the cinesap forests is always pretty useful uh, i'm gonna try and construct a silo Okay. Oh, never mind. I'm going to need more stone and copper bars. I'll come back to pick those up. Oh, melons. Actually, we might not have enough stone to <laughs> build a silo right now. I can buy stone from Robin, but... Our chickens are growing up. <gasps> Both, uh... Do we have any eggs? Uh, yeah, I... Rillard produced an egg and so did Frat Soda. Are they both the same color egg? Yes. Dang. We could have finished our animal foraging bundle a lot faster. I believe... Doesn't it tell you what color the chicken's going to be when you pick it? And you can back out it, if it's the wrong one? If, it, if, if those are the case, then I didn't know it at the time. Whoops. I'm so livid about the fact that we aren't going to finish that bundle, even though that's definitely not going to be the last bundle we finish, so therefore it doesn't matter at all. I am terribly sorry. It's like I'm I'm doing the the Beat the Gungeon series, and I'm like, man, I really shouldn't be spending my credits on playing the the other characters. I need to save it for Platinum Bullets, even though it's definitely not gonna be even close to the last thing I have to do. Mm-hmm. So it's like I mean, it High Dragon Fire, right? I'm not putting that in. <laughs> I'm not. That, <laughs> that's not. I even said that the the Rubenstein. I'm literally just filling out the uh, ammo nomicon. Like once I get all the pictures, I don't even need, need to pick it up. Basically, the finished okay. gun is my my end goal, and that's it. I mean, I, and so it should be. It's 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 probably like the most reasonable marker for completion in the game at this point. Yeah. Because like high dragon fire is not even in the ammo nomicon, and the Rubenstein's in there from the start. You just it just won't be colored in until you get it. Yeah. Which is... <laughs> Still haven't gotten it. It's weird. It's like... None of the others... Like, it's a synergy. 
Really, that's all it is. Why is it in there? It doesn't make sense. Personally, I don't get it. And I mean, are there any other dungeons. guns that combine like that? Yeah, I mean, dungeons canceled at this point, frankly. Uh, none of them. I don't think any of them literally combine into a gun, and I guess that's the reason. But still, I've decided I don't like it, so I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> that's totally fair. I'd, I'd, hate to, I'd hate to make you make one more decision. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. There's enough decisions that are that are supposed to be really easy that I have a hard time making. Like, what is for dinner? I, like, it's gotten to the point, I, I make dinner every night, and I'm like, I'm making dinner as a result of that. I don't have to choose what it is that I'm making. <laughs> that is, that's, it's the, it's the price like, cause I don't. Right, I, so th there's one of you will make it, and one of you will decide. No, I make it all every night, <laughs> and I don't. And as a result, I don't have to decide. Ah, right. What would you say is your signature dish? Um, the the thing that I make the most is just like beans and rice, cause like it's really easy and it's pr pretty healthy. I make that, mm. you could, like, a third of the time I'll make that. But, like, stir-fry stuff and all kinds of soups. Just easy things mm -hmm. that usually make two meals that aren't super unhealthy. But we uh, we deep-fried tofu the other day. Made, like, a it's real good did, sandwich. Okay, so did did you do the uh, did you do the same method that we did? Because we, we've done the same. Uh, was... Froze it and then dry it. Uh, froze it and then thawed it and then froze it and then thawed it. And it gets like a weird texture on the inside after having done that two we, times and then deep fry it. We did that, but we only did it once because the time constraint. <laughs> we, it was like, oh shoot, mm -hmm. oh shoot, it's late and we were supposed to do this, but it was really good. It, we we did it and we made a sandwich out of it with uh, pickled onions, sriracha aioli and Ooh. lettuce on a toasted uh, special roll. It was amazing. Actually sounds absolutely delightful and has just managed to remind me that I forgot to have breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> do we have do we have the stuff supplies to make a mayonnaise maker? That's what an earth crystal cold? No, stone uh, st actually stone wood. Did you take it all? Yeah, we we don't currently, but just because we're 15 short on stone. Mm, okay. Well, so I'm actually going to take the pickaxe and I'm going to go quickly get some stone. Okay. I'll throw the eggs in the far left thing. And mm -hmm. I guess I'll just move. I, we, there's nothing stopping us from kind of just like breezing through the If we wanted to just like go to bed as soon as we wake up and just scooch ourselves to the next season we totally could that's fair once we like go just get the cinder samp stuff get the, the hardwood the last things that are really time limited mm -hmm. just do our normal uh, thing I am going to need your pickup ah alright mm. coming back also, I forgot to bait these traps earlier on. The fish traps, or whatever they're called. Crab traps? Crab pots? Crab pots? I think. What are they be? are? I uh, failed to actually bait them, so we're not getting anything out of them yet. It's fine. It's fine. Do we have any bait? Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. I should know. My uh, I should know what these are called. My dad watched Deadliest Catch all the time, and we played the Deadliest Catch video game. How was it? Uh, you you do not mean Octo Dad Deadliest Catch, right? I do not. <laughs> I would have said that I played it. That De uh, <laughs> Dead yeah Deadliest Catch the video game. I think it was like okay. Which is probably a better response than you would maybe assume. Yeah, more than could be said for most uh, kind of show time games. Yeah, I think it was okay. I, c I can't remember though. I didn't play. 
especially like a pseudo reality show tie-in like you'd expect yeah. that to be real bad yeah i mean i can't i don't know it might it, i was young and i wasn't the one playing so it's possible that it controlled like garbage and was really bad mm -hmm. but i don't know have you ever had those experiences and if you have i am going to need an example of a game that you thought was real good as a kid and then you played a game as an adult for you know, nostalgia or to relive something and it was complete garbage Hmm. as a kid played well i don't know i feel like i would probably log it to memory more if i didn't like whenever i go back and play things i played as a kid i'm like fully aware that it's gonna be pretty rough um mm -hmm. i don't know i'd have to i'd have to look at my game shelf to be honest like i'm sure there's some n64 stuff that j just doesn't control that great uh i mean mm -hmm. like er, mid ones that are not that that old i could probably do better like uh when heavy rain came out i it was like my favorite game of all time and then now it's like it, it doesn't hold up as well like it, it, <laughs> the animations and stuff that yeah. were rough and took you out of it then kind of really do now but i still i still yeah i still appreciate it you know those uh the the kind of like awkward clips from weird motions and weird facial movements and even like uh, weird voiceover uh, being overused in YouTube videos is like cutaway material is something that's kind of made me think of that game as a joke. Yeah, it's well, the thing is, like, if you play it in earnest, it's like it's a pretty good game. The story is like, OK, um, mm -hmm. but just like the, at the time when it when it came out, this is like this is pre until dawn. And stuff like that when it came out it was like holy moly this is like this is a new new style of game like yeah i i remember all of the discussions surrounding it talking about like this being proof concept of like a whole new gameplay experience yeah the... kind of kind of i mean like it, it, it didn't really go as big as i think people were predicting that it was going to at the time no but i think like we're... it made the kind i mean i don't know like, it, i'm not saying games like like the walking dead and all the telltale games are mm. in the same exact sphere but like it's that kind of thing like i don't know maybe it would, was a gauge of market excitement for a more like a movie that you play you know that's fair. I wonder whether or not Walking Dead took inspiration from that. Like, the most direct I'm... ones that have taken inspiration that I actually enjoyed were, like, Until Dawn and Until the Dawn. Man of the Dawn. But Man of the Dawn, I didn't even like that much. I didn't play it. I watched a, and watched a little bit of it to decide if I wanted to play it. And then I didn't play it. So you can guess what I thought. <laughs> so it, uh, I don't know. It's it just seemed like they totally were confused about why Until Dawn worked so well. It's one of those rare cases where I feel like they could have legitimately just made, you know, just copied like almost all the decisions with a different story and people would have been satisfied. But like they mm -hmm. they changed up like the tone. I think the idea of the of uh playing it with your friends playing a horror movie with your friends kind of like combats the tone directly yep. like i i think that and i think that they designed it from the ground up with that in mind and that takes it from here i gotta make a decision between forester and gatherer trees drop 25 percent more wood chance for double harvest of forage items which one? i usually go for forage uh out of those two Forager. Forester or gatherer? <laughs> ah, right, yes. Sorry, I usually go for forager out of those two. <laughs> okay, I'll pick forest. <laughs> I'm going to pick forester. Even though it's it's closer to what you said, but I feel like it's not what you meant. I'm going to do it anyway. But, yeah, I, I feel like... Yeah, I, I do go gatherer. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that from what I saw but with Man of Medan versus Until Dawn, it's like by by building from the ground up with that kind of like co-op mo the movie night feature in mind i think that they like they they took it from a horror movie a campy horror movie that you could still 
kind of be sort of surprised by to like just a campy horror movie mm -hmm. is what it seemed like and like i i uh i watched it and i figured out the twist in like you know less than an hour into it yeah that is one thing that like i i definitely find is a, like huge difference between the two is that until dawn plays that low for a long time like it's yeah. maybe a couple hours into the game before they even start feeding you information that there was cannibalism in the woods and you have to be familiar with the wendigo myth before you go wait a second i know what that's talking about yeah and, and i think like i don't know how long was man of Medan? did you finish it uh, like five hours. I watched the whole thing. I'm gonna be completely honest. I do not have a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, like I watched like I think five until dawn run throughs, and then I just watched the one from dawn. Oh yeah. I mean like the... until dawn, I could I could rewatch someone new playing it every year. I really could. Yeah. It's 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 a very good game. More complex. It seems. Wait, it, what's more complex? More complex than Man of Medan? It seems to be more complex. Like it seems to have more like different tracks down which you can go. Yeah, I don't know. And it, it, I don't know. I could, I could talk about it until, until done for a long time because I still have thoughts that are being processed on it at the moment. But it's like, I, I don't know. Like the a choose your own adventure where you have characters that completely suck <laughs> like mm -hmm. and that's the other thing everyone every one of the characters in man of medan I, from what i could tell seemed irredeemably sucky like for the most part <laughs> like in in until yeah. dawn they were like they a lot of them like even the ones that were more sucky you're just kind of like you could sympathize with them a bit but it's like mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know you care, yeah, I, you I care mean, about think... the characters that die if you like the characters. If you don't like the characters, you're like, let's see them die this way now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just use it as a simulator for that kind of thing. I, like, I... I kind of think in a horror, you need, like, a perfect victim. Yeah. Someone who deserves it, but you still kind of, like feel bad about it. And, it. and it depends on what kind of movie. If you're just well, looking no, for... No, 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 not the melons, not the melons, not the melons! <laughs> How many do you need? All of them, jelly. All of them. Okay, wait. Literally every single one. Yep. Okay. All of them should become jelly. Even the golden ones. Okay. Uh, not the golden ones. Let me send those. <laughs> Trying to give me stay still. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the lag in the game. I promise, it's not me. Oh, okay. I was too busy thinking about <laughs> the games we're not playing. But it's a, it's a, it's a bummer. <laughs> Because um, they're making a whole series of Man and Medan. Yeah. Or wait, no, not Man and Medan. Uh, the Dark, what is it called? The Dark Pictures? Dark Pictures Anthology, yeah. Man and Medan being a single part of it. I, I hope they learn. I honestly think that's probably going to be good. Like, it, like, if they change the setting and have, like, some more sympathetic characters in the next one and yeah. don't necessarily have uh, a certain plotting issue that I'm not going to directly mention but a lot of people missed out on about 25 percent of the game if that gives anyone a hint uh if, if they avoid those kinds of pitfalls i don't know like every single one i'm at least going to check oh yeah yeah i mean i mean like it depends i i'm curious how far along they were on development on the next one i saw the little teaser mm -hmm. for it and it looked more compelling yeah but, but it's a trailer for a movie effectively they're supposed to be compelling <laughs> did you how to catch online any of the edited back in cut content from the game no i i didn't i didn't even finish watching the game i couldn't yeah totally fair uh most of the like the re-edited in content is for the end of the game and it's actually quite good <laughs> it, it makes it a lot more interesting. What do you think? Do, you, so do they it, say it why it was cut? Like they might have rushed it out. Yeah, is it, I'm assuming it's for time. There's I'm, there was no official word on it because it was just like a, a file hacker, a la like mm. Man Fight Dragon, who mm. did it. Man, it's a shame. Like I, I don't know. Like that old thing, 
that old thing that uh, used to apply to games. What I can't remember who said it. Iwata maybe the like a bad game is bad forever. A delayed game uh, can be was, good or whatever. Who who uh, said that? That was Shigeru Miyamoto. Okay. Like I feel like that used to be true, and then people are like, "Oh, that's not true. That's not true anymore because of patches." But I feel like with how many games are released now, it's become true again because of people's attention span. So it's a shame. Mm -hmm. Like games that are like, like it, it, like here's an example. Here's a great example. If Artifact gets a patch that makes it like. That fixes a lot of the problems, and like they actually, they got a ton of patches that made it a lot better, but nobody will mm -hmm. ever think anything other than what they thought right away. That's just how yeah. video yeah. games are in in this generation. Like they they made a lot of changes that were great to it, and uh, they made it really, really like honestly pretty cheap. You could get all the cards by playing the game, all of that, mm -hmm. just like they, all the problems that people had. But you know. It, I'm it's not going to outlive you the do legacy. Not get a second first impression. You don't get a second first impression, and I feel like with how many games that are coming out, the first impression is a lot of times your only impression. Like, mm. handful of, of games get the pass, and they're like No Man's Sky. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. like, and that took they, so much they're effort. The that, they're the ones that buck the trend. Like, uh, that, uh, I think... Was Kingdom was it there was an RPG that came out that was like bad and then either the modding community or the devs made it incredible. It was either Kingdoms of Amalur or Riven 2. Uh, I think Kingdoms of Amalur was like okay for it. I don't know. I think I think people liked that a lot. I don't know if it had any problems on get go. Was that like did it come out recently? Like a year or two ago? No no no. A couple years. Prior. I don't know. I'm gonna keep mulling that over in my head and see if I can actually pull up the name, but yeah. In the interim, yeah, it, it it definitely seems to be the exception to the rule rather than rule itself. Yeah, like I don't know. I Diablo three got a lot of praise. The, Diablo three had like a really quick turnaround time on its uh, on its larger fixes, like removing yeah. the the marketplace and stuff like that. Yeah. And also, they have the ability to then republicize the game back to the same audience, whereas like smaller studios don't necessarily have the ability to do that. That's another reason why No Man's Sky is in a different position. It yeah. raked in a hell of a lot of money, despite the fact that you know people yeah. didn't necessarily like it initially. And that was the based other thing. largely off of the support it already had. Yeah, and that was the other thing. It was a quote-unquote failure that really wasn't because people seem to forget that like it was a, it was a small team, so like. Uh, getting a triple A level bomb for a, a smaller team is not a bomb. Mm. Like they probably made an, they made enough money to to fund working on all the fixes and expansions and everything that they've been doing. So it had to be okay financially for like, but for working conditions and mental health, it was probably a severe bomb. <laughs> I could, yeah, I uh, could not imagine working there. But like, man, like no nothing has had such a turnaround. In like, I don't know what what has had more of a turnaround of public opinion in like almost any medium than No Man's Sky has had. Oh, uh, who? Uh, I'm gonna say right off the top of my dome, Kevin Spacey. Uh, oh, I'm saying from bad to good, from bad to good, from bad oh, to good, <laughs> <laughs> from bad to good. <laughs> <laughs> Not talking good to bad. There's a million of those. A million. Of I don't those. know. Actually, is is there anyone whose public image went from bad to good that quickly? Because that's that's like a relatively uh, like non uh, non aggressive direction to take on that one. To try and find someone who is now in the good graces of the world. Yeah, I. I don't I guess know. Keanu it, it, went from like people like kind of laughing at his acting a little bit to everyone's like, husband. Yeah, that's. But especially mine. Yeah, <laughs> that that's one. But it's like, it's not a because he was, by no means was he hated. Like, exactly. It's it's not a large delta. I need a huge delta. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Comment section. This is for you, please. Who's somebody who was hated rating. and then is now loved? 
I am still waiting for the video to come out where we get to uh, be told which of... Oh no, everyone's houses went down. All right, I'm going to have to give Carolyn some more. Uh, I'm still waiting for the video to come out where we get told which music videos we have to go and comment on. Oh, yeah. Man, that's got to be... That's got to be like... This, I mean, this week. It's already out by now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know for a fact. I don't have to pull the curtain back much to know that. If it is it was in a previous episode, it's already out. Yeah, no, no, we're just gonna start releasing these out of order, just for funsies, you that know. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Maze making. Hell yeah. Uh, did you check the chickens today? Uh, I don't think so. Do we have? Hay and how oh, you We got do it. have hay. I'm gonna go put it. Oh no, I can't put it in the silo yet. It's not finished done. Not finished done. Are we supposed to be letting them out too? I feel like they would like that. Oh, they're trying to sleep. I can't pet them. Uh, close all down. Uh, honestly, yes. But we're gonna need to create a yard for them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Weren't you gonna move it over to the to Turtle Island? Mm hmm. And then I started making the silos, so whoops. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the silo's done, I'll get that done. That's okay. I, uh, I, I could have done it if I cared. Honestly, there's not much else to do today, so I'm just going to go rest. Like, sure, I could catch a fish. Oh, you've walked 10,000 10, 10, times 10 paces. This wow. Congratulations. I wonder how much money we made. It ever loads. Ooh, level eight farming. New crafting recipe keg. Oil maker. Deluxe speed girl. Are you level eight yet? Keg. Keg, 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 keg. Our goal is now build as many kegs as we can. Like, and then that is our goal basically for money for the rest of the everything. Oh, keg. That sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's going to be it for now. Next episode is Keg City, I guess. And then, hell yeah, and the end Population of summer, probably. Us. Population us. But uh, enjoy the rest of your your summers, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Adios.